Hey guys, it's Bex here and welcome to a brand new series of videos with my good friend Mike Perrine from everydaydetox.org. You are back to answer our most burning questions. We have amassed this huge collection of questions from you that you have been sending over for years now. Yeah, we've been doing this for a bunch of bunch when of years. When did we start doing this? It was five years ago. Was it five years ago? I Probably. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And now we have all these questions that we think we have compiled into a few, maybe five, five good solid questions that we can answer and spend some time on because it's so hard to answer questions in the comments. It is. Yeah. To type all that out. Yeah. So this is the first one and there's going to be four more <coughs> that follow. So stay tuned every single week for a new one. And hopefully that won't be the end. We'll have lots and lots more questions, but <laughs> let's get started. So the first one is about another YouTuber, kind of. Uh, it says, Mike, could you discuss what's wrong with Freely's cooked food dinners? And they're referring to Freely the Banana Girl. I've been doing raw till four for a while now, and I'm curious what issue you have with it. Is it all the white rice and pasta or the volume of food? I'm also wondering why you say that paleo peeps are right about grains when there have been archeologists who have found evidence of humans eating grains from the beginning of time. Freely the Banana Girl. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, so we have two things. That's I mean, why people think we don't like her because but, you say freely the banana girl, and I go, yeah. I, I think freely and durian rider are awesome. I love the vegan message. I love the fitness and athletic message. I think it's great, and I think they they really mix it up and challenge a lot of people, which is kind of fun and awesome. Um, but as far as like the food stuff that goes on, I don't remember ever criticizing that, but I guess maybe somewhere I said something you kinda, about it. You kind of did. Is, you were like quizzical about it. I'm quizzical because it's a head scratcher for me. Only, well, first of all, raw till four, is, it does, I mean, eating raw food until four o'clock and then eating cooked food for dinner, if it's a good, healthy choice, it's like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's mm -hmm. great. Uh, I think the head scratcher for me with the raw till four thing is uh, the massive um, emphasis on sugar and refined carbohydrates. Okay. And, and the um, volumes of food that they're eating, mm -hmm. you know, um, we know that refined carbohydrates spike blood sugar, which the raw till four people and fruitarian people say is no problem at all. Um, that remains to be seen. Uh, and um, we know that when we refine starches, everything I've seen in the work that I do, when we refine starches like that, um, not only do we strip a lot of the nutrients away, but it t tends to be very cloggy and mucus forming in the body. Okay. That's why I don't need any grains. I don't need any grains. I hardly eat any starch. The starchiest thing I'll eat is a sweet potato or a carrot. And that's it. The reason for that is because I'm prone to mucus and pasta and rice and especially breads and things like that give that to me. And they give it to a lot of my clients too. So um, that's the only head scratcher is the volume of refined carbohydrates they're eating. So here's my question. Why is it A, working for them, B, working for people who are turning to that diet, and then the next part is C, why wouldn't you recommend it for people, or would you? Well, see, here's the thing. So what's, what's the perfect diet? Well, first of all, is it working for them? Okay. The only thing that's working for them is they're, they're fit and they're not, they, don't, they don't hold excess weight. That's right. what's working for them. What's happening biochemically in someone's body is a completely different story. I know a lot of very thin people that are very unhealthy too, mm -hmm. um, and they're athletic too. Mm -hmm. um, when uh, Gil Jacobs was on the podcast a few months ago, uh, he was talking about how, because he's a big fan of sports and football and stuff like that, and he was talking about how you can see athletes that perform at high, high levels, but you can see the illness in their face. You can see the bags under their eyes, you know, and their body's performing in spite of that. And what happens after 30, 40 years of that, it starts to catch up, and that's when that starts to happen. So the raw till four thing, eating these volumes of rice that are tremendous and all this fruit and 30 bananas a day and stuff, all that remains to be seen. Why does it work? Because <clears throat> it's white rice, it's vegetables, it's vegan, and uh, it's a lot of fruit. And it's not hamburgers and hot dogs right. and potato chips. For and people soda. making that switch over to it. Yeah, it's, it's, you're going to do exceptionally well. I used to eat a tremendous amount of food, tofu sandwiches and muffins and things. I was a pastry chef in Angelica Kitchen. When I first went vegan, I lost like 60 pounds in three months. Yeah. My skin cleared up. Um, I did actually, my, during my detox, I didn't look great, but then it, you know, it all came tofu out. Tofu sandwich good. sounds like the grossest thing. It's actually delicious, but it's been a long time since I've had I don't that think food. So. Um, but I ate a tremendous amount of food and I still did well. Um, but it gets really confusing for people. This is what I wanted to discuss on a podcast, and we should right. discuss it here because sometimes on these videos, like you'll ask me questions like about a certain food or something like that that we're answering a question or whatever, and it gets confusing because I'll be like, oh yeah, well quinoa is a healthy food, and I'll be like, but you said you don't eat any grain or anything. So what, right. what is it healthy or not? The hel the way to eat 
the way to determine if your if your diet's serving you or not is it better than what you were doing before? Because almost right. everybody starts out eating really bad food and toxic, and we I mean we were just talking about what the kids are eating these days, you know, yeah. like teenagers and stuff. My kids even, you know, yeah. and people use recreational drugs, people use pharmaceuticals, people use um, then there's all the alcohol that people drink, um, and then there's all the terrible food that we have from the beginning. So mm -hmm. any improvement you make is going to be better. That's why you see all these diets working. That's why everybody did well on raw foods. That's why people do well on paleo. Right. Because, yes, it's a lot of meat, but it's meat and vegetables, and it's not fast food. And, it's and better than everybody. what you were doing. Yeah, so, right. every, so everybody improves like that. So the way that we can think about it is any diet that's an improvement to what you were doing, going towards uh, heavy emphasis on plants and eating lots of raw plant food, is going to bring you results. Right. And that happens up until a point. Now, the interesting thing, the thing that's such a mind-boggling thing about the raw till four freely durian rider thing, um, they started to get into like cookies and donuts and and not even like and just vegan cookies like i remember during night i posted a picture of some cookies and it had all sorts of preservatives and additives on the label but that could be somewhat of a boomerang effect i mean we've been doing this for years they've been around for probably the same amount of time but that's a very short amount of time in the span of your entire life yeah. so when you go extreme one way you're you're gonna have that effect where it comes back and, and this is what we were talking about when you first came to the house this morning and I was saying that you know I feel like I'm the healthiest person I know I never get sick I sleep really really well I'm active you know I, I generally feel very good and I don't have a completely clean diet you know there's a certain amount of toxicity in my diet um, and then there's a good amount of really good clean foods but I don't know. I feel awesome all the time. And I've never had that boomerang. I've never had that extreme anything ever. Because the body likes consistency. It loves that. But am it I, loves consistency. But am I going to die at like 55 from some crazy clogged situation? Well, <laughs> or that, am I on the right track? How we're all going to die is a whole other situation because <laughs> we're living in a very toxic world these days and stuff. Everything that I've ever experienced with my own diet and mm. everything that I've ever seen with clients and everything that Dr. Bishi and Gil and all my teachers have ever told me that they've experienced in their lives and with their clients is that when you get into consistent clean eating and you actually change your body chemistry over, mm -hmm. you hit a point of no return. You can't go backwards. If I were like, hey, I'm just going to run to four and I'm going to eat like, you know, 40 sushi rolls tonight and I'm going to eat all this stuff, I'd be a congested clogged mess and right. I wouldn't feel well. I eat certain raw food desserts I eat at my favorite restaurant, Pure Food and Wine in Manhattan. Like, I'll go there. I can only eat that ice cream sundae once a year because I look like the Michelin Man the next day. Mm -hmm. Eyes all puffy, bloodshot. I just don't... That's from, the, that's from something that would be super healthy for my dad. So I'm wondering why Freely Enduring Rider can get into these refined carb cookie donut pizza things and they still look fine. What are you fine. saying? What, what do you mean what am I saying? I don't know that maybe they haven't been eating so clean. Or um, either, either maybe they haven't been eating so clean, but there's another concept. And, the, and people, you don't hear about this stuff on the internet, but this has been something that's been talked about for years where you can sort of change your diet. And it is a slight improvement because, you know, listen, the bananas and lots of fruit and stuff is not hamburgers, right? Right. But when you overburden your body to such a degree that you're eating 30 of them at a time, plus more and more fruit and more and more fruit and more and more food and food and food and food, and food you're actually not giving your body the emptiness and the lightness to actually de-cleanse itself. Uh -huh. So you're really standing still. Okay. So I, w I wonder if that's actually what's going on with those guys. Hmm. I don't know. We don't it know. We seen. have to get them here. I would love, you know, they're, they're banned from the Woodstock Fruit Festival, which was, <laughs> which is so disappointing because I really wanted to have them on the podcast and I wanted them to come yeah. to, to New York, but they don't seem to be coming here anymore. What's up with they're... this community banning people? It's crazy. But they banned it because of the things we just talked about, because they're into raw foods and they're into fruit. And Freely and Dirt Rider were talking about But allow that another voice that. to come in and so that we can have a conversation about it instead of just preaching to the choir. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's what I appreciate about those guys. Yeah. yeah. We gotta get them on here. So, thank you. We're gonna make another video now. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm probably gonna change my shirt to look like we did this on a different day, but it's really actually all the same day. We're having this really fun conversation. And I want you to stay tuned for more videos every single week. And there will also be tons of information over on my channel at everydaydetox.org and on youtube.com slash everydaydetox. So, look for that too. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like this video, share with your friends, and leave your comments and questions below. You can also click on your screen or find the link in the video description to sign up for my newsletter at bexlife.com and get all kinds of free goodies delivered straight to your inbox. I'll see you soon in another Bex Life video.